analytics right now is going through some sort of a hype cycle. Uh, there's a lot of people believing that big data is a panacea to all business problems and investing uh, a lot in that, whether it is talent or technology. And, uh, and I think people are probably likely to go over-invest in some of these things. Um, I think the second uh, you know, takeaway also is that uh, talent, which is the demand side, is a problem because uh, supply, sorry, uh, the, the supply side, which is talent, is a problem because there's a lot of demand. You know, everyone wants to get in and hire the best talent, uh, put in the best analytics uh, you know, engine and so on. And therefore, attrition, retention, uh, you know, those types of things are, are problems. So I would really say those are the two you know, big things that I took away from the panel discussion. All right. Thanks, Pankaj. And you know, the second question to you, Pankaj, is you know, from Dell's perspective, where is uh, the analytics unit going? What do you think are the next invention, innovations, road ahead, next step, etc., from Dell's analytics perspective? Right. So I think in Dell, we are a fairly mature team. We have been around for close to 10 years. I think the next stage of evolution that we are going through is more productivity, uh, more, you know, organizing it to deliver business results. And there are a few tenets that we are, uh, you know, putting in place to make that happen. I think the number one is how do we engage our team to address the top critical priorities of our company. So we have now created a governance mechanism to make sure that our people work on projects which are the priorities of the executive leadership team. So that is, I think, you know, very, very critical number one that we are putting in place. Uh, I think the second one is that, you know, we are putting in place global center of competence model. Earlier, you know, this team was really local and, you know, heavily India-based, but now we are creating a global, you know, team. We will have folks in many other parts of the uh, world. And that COE will function to translate the executive priorities into, you know, problem that, you know, our team will start to focus on and solve on. I think the third and the most critical piece is how do we develop the talent? to address all of that. So this is where we are doing two things. We are creating a decision science curriculum, which will enable our people to get three levels of certification from you know, basic to intermediate to advanced and uh, you know, upskill themselves. Uh, I think the second one is really creating a decision science forum, a community of practitioners across the company. So all the people who are sort of certified or in the forum will share best practices and will you know, get to share knowledge uh, with each other. And I think the outcome of these two activities, we are hoping, will be creating more and more self-service on-demand analytics platforms. So essentially, you know, uh, you know, getting the talent trained, creating communities of practice, and delivering platforms which the businesses can use on the go is really where we are trying to, you know, head, which is productization and uh, you know, making the analytics more persuasive in the organization. And you know, the closing comments, Pankaj, what do you think about what uh, Cyber 2015, your experience, and take away from it? I think, you know, this was a great uh, event to get a lot of analytics professionals together because I think uh, Bangalore is the hub for analytics talent and I don't see this type of events happening and I think Cypher has taken a lead in creating an event of this nature in this city which is a hub of talent where people have actually been traveling to other cities to participate in such events. Uh, I think it's good to see that, you know, a lot of people can participate here sitting in Bangalore and not travel. Having on a Saturday is even better that, you know, a lot of people who have pressed for time during weekdays can also come and attend. So thanks, Bhaskar for creating such a wonderful event. All right. Thanks. Thanks, Pankaj.